everybody, welcome back to the iTunes fanboy. In this YouTube video, I will be demonstrating you guys this process of replacing the rubber feet on the on a Mac MacBook. So this rough MacBook right here is a 2010 MacBook Pro that is 13 inches, and obviously, using you know, MacBook Pros are very prone to having their feet fall off. As you can tell, the rubber feet are all gone online, and of course, this does lead to more scratches on the computer. So yeah, as you can tell, I bought the iFixit ones because. You can tell with the iFixit logo right here. And a big mistake that a lot of people make when replacing their MacBooks rubber feet is that they buy the one ones for Unibody that are actually for Retina and vice versa. So please make sure that you're buying ones for your right kind. So if your MacBook is a Unibody era one, then it is a late 2008 MacBook or MacBook Pro or any MacBook Air from 2008 up to 2017 or a late 2008 MacBook Pro to to 20 up to 2012 mid 2012 the you buy ones or the late or i believe the plastic macbooks also apply with this too in the retina era or obviously the 2012 macbook pro and new newer that is retina and the 2018 macbook air newer and so yeah right here we have the oak the bag which we should just rubber feet to just slide it out of. Maybe I fix it is by way of very well known rec reputable repair company. So right here we have new rubber feet that we can just stick on like this. This is a very easy installation. You don't even have to shut down your computer in order to make this repair work. Feels weird to have this computer with rubber feet again since when I got this computer back in Christmas 2020, most of its rubber feet were already starting to fall off. And there we go, now this MacBook has its rubber feet again, so now I can properly prop it up. So, yeah, and thank you all for watching this video. As always, I am the iTunes fanboy, and peace out.